Hi, it's Richard Gladwell here for Star World, here with Glenn Ashby on day four of the A-Class Cat Worlds. How'd you get on today, Glenn? Yeah, look, it wasn't a too bad day, Richard, a one and a three. I'm very, very happy with that and, and content to finish the day off. It uh, ended up being a little bit windier than probably what we were first thinking when we left the beach today, so um, it was a sort of a bit of a concern that the breeze might have shut down and the nor'easter might have filled in, but it, um, it stayed in the southwest and the breeze was actually, you know, quite nice. We were sort of trapezing downwind at times and sort of sitting in at times, so there was a lot of gear changes going on, but... Um, the, um, yeah, a lot of position changes today and um, you know, it's sort of one of those days where you just could never consolidate or be conservative or cover anybody, you just had to really keep attacking the course, both upwind and downwind and uh, you know, never never really look, look back, you always sort of had to keep looking forward for the next next game because there was plenty plenty there to, to be had. So what's that done for your overall points in the regatta? Has that given you the championship or have you got to get, get around it tomorrow? Yeah, no, I've definitely definitely got a sale tomorrow because I've uh, had a had a breakage a few days ago, um, which uh, yeah means you're carrying an 82nd place if you if you have to carry that. So I definitely need to sail tomorrow, and uh, I think I've got a 14 point lead at the moment. So I need to have a, a solid day tomorrow and not break anything, make any mistakes, and um, hopefully I can, uh, can can do that. Yeah. So can you just tell us what happened with that breakage you had? Because there've been a couple of well, in fact, three rudders I think we've seen go now. Yeah, look, um, just with the sort of the, the boats, um, you know, foiling downwind now uh, quite a bit more, we're getting a lot more load on the bottom uh, rudder, gudgeon basically, and um, we've been shearing uh, off um, 8 mil bolts basically that actually hold the, the, the rudder cassettes on the back of the boat, so we've never previously um, ever broken anything like that before, but the, the boats are definitely seeing a lot more load at the back now and at the, and at the dagger board uh, you know, at, the, at the base of the hull, so we've... Um, been uh, trying to work out how we can make those not break and um, yeah it's just been one of those things unfortunately the other day when I was sailing up wind it must have just fatigued enough in the previous race um, or races and um, yeah the, the, the rudder basically ripped off the back of the boat so um, unfortunately I couldn't finish that race and um, with only one drop out of nine races uh, I've got to definitely sail tomorrow. So are those standard fittings that you're breaking or are they Team New Zealand specials? Yeah, no, they're off the off the shelf fittings. Um, they're they're built in Australia actually, and um, yeah, basically we've never had any issues with them before. And um, we did did quite a bit of work, uh, you know, over in uh, at the base there um, with some other other rudder stocks, but we didn't end up using those. Um, but the ones we have ended up, well, some of the guys have. We've sort of got a bit of a mix and match, but um, the rudder stocks that I'm using, quite a few of the other guys are using as well. And um, yeah, we've been shearing those bolts off, so it's a bit, little bit of a concern. But we hadn't done and broken anything in any of the testing we've been doing. So unfortunately, a breakage in a race cost you, cost you dearly. We saw a few issues out there with bird strikes sort of above and below the water. Did you have any incidents out there? Yeah, no, I was pretty uh, pretty, pretty clear with that. What were you doing when you saw the birds? Because I mean, they were all over everywhere, weren't they? <laughs> yeah, there's quite a few birds out there, but um, no, I managed to, uh, to keep myself out of, out of trouble and uh, out of the way of those, uh, those little guys. Yeah. So what's your strategy going into the race tomorrow? Um, look, yeah, I'm just going to sort of pretty much sail as I have been. I think just try and sail, sail the best race I possibly can and sort of um, tomorrow might be a different day from the Norris, so it might be a little bit more about sort of staying in, in touch with a few of the guys. But um, I think at the end of the day, I've just got to try and sail my best race and, and try and you know, get off the start line well and, and just sort of hang, hang in there. So anything inside the top 14, I'll be happy with. Yeah. OK, well, thanks for that. Cheers. All the best.